Over the last couple of episodes, it's safe to say we've been quite destructive. We built ourselves a giant arrow cannon for a raid, we unleashed a wither, we blew up an entire mountain, and of course we got ourselves a beacon. And today you'll be pleased to know we're finally going to get back to some building. But first, there's always time for more destruction, right? Well, that's made a right mess. We've got a bit of clearing up to do. And I know, I know, I said I was going to transform this village, but I've had a better idea. And well, I mean, apart from the just mass destruction. But I do have an idea of what I want to build over here now. And this village had to go. I've kept that house down there, of course, because that's currently got our villagers in. But we will be moving those and destroying that house too. First, however, I've got a lot of clearing up to do. There's, yeah, I mean, it was fun, but I don't know if that's just created more work for myself. But I do want to connect this river up. We're going to sort out the landscape around these edges as well but once this area is looking nicer we're gonna build ourselves a sheep farm and finally give pinky a home <laughs> forever i decided to actually get rid of all the stuff under the water as well because that was looking awful but we now have a nice area up here for building and you may notice i've marked out a little bit here as well and although every time i go into this view it looks like i'm not wearing armor i assure you i am i've just got it on under my clothes so don't panic but what i've decided to do over here is i'm actually going to put the sheep farm underground and then i can actually do something a bit more interesting with the top side of the barn and it means it's not going to be absolutely massive so the first thing i need to do is dig a hole and that means I need to set my beacon up again. I've literally just taken that down. There we go. We've got our haste too. Now to do a buttload of digging. The hole has been successfully dug and it is so much easier to dig with a beacon. I've, I've missed having a beacon. I've also managed to capture a few sheep so we can start breeding them up because we are, of course, going to need 16 for the farm. But for now, we actually need to get on building the farm itself. And I've collected some bits and bobs that we should need. Hopefully, this shouldn't take too long. So because we're building the farm beneath the barn, what we're going to need is to feed everything into a water tube. And that way, we should be able to sort it out upstairs. So let's just chuck down a bunch of hoppers and figure it out from there, I think. In fact, I think what I might do is just get this bit in first, just so we know exactly where things need to go. We won't bother filling it up with water, but it's nice to have it visualized. So if that's going to go there, we can probably start putting the sheep about there, I think. So let me just plan this out a little bit if we're going to have a hopper mine cart on that block there then that means the sheep are going to be standing on that bit there so that should be fine and then on this side in theory we should just be able to do it like this and i am putting grass down the bottom here as well because it will help to grow the grass on top quicker or something like that i'm pretty sure that's a thing but this should work out well we can have a sheep on each side they can share this wall and it just makes it a little bit more compact and it means we've got some area around it to mess about with as well. The sheep will also be able to share this wall that's next to them. So in theory, we should just be able to get away with this. And we're going to need eight on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. Perfect amount of hoppers. And same on this side. Then we'll get all the grass in down here. Excellent stuff. And uh, for now, I'm actually going to remove this top bit. Just because it's going to make it a bit easier to sort out down here. If we can actually get underneath. So the next thing we want to do is border all this in glass. So that the minecarts don't move about once we get them in. And by using glass as well, we're also not going to be blocking the grass growth. Because we do, of course, want that to go through to the platforms above. Then we need to put in a bunch of rails. And same on this side. And then we just need a hopper minecart on every single one of these. Perfect. And now we need lots and lots of grass. We need to make sure that we're covering up everything apart from this back spot here on each area. As simple as that. Marvellous. And now we need a whole bunch of observers and dispensers. We've already got some of them. Excellent. So the observers are going to look into this block. And that's just going to detect when the sheep eat. And same on this side. With a solid block on the back of each one of them. And on the top here, we'll just put a dispenser on top of every single observer. And a dot of redstone on the back of every single one of these. And that is the mechanism. It's so simple. I absolutely love it. But then if you've ever played Minecraft, you probably know how to do this anyway. 
So we're going to want to make sure that we've got plenty of shears in each one of these dispensers. So what we're going to do is put a hopper on the side of each one with a barrel on top of each one of those. And then we just need a whole bunch of glass so we can contain the sheep. So the last thing we need, because of course we do want the grass to grow, and for that I do believe that light actually helps. And we, well, we don't want the sheep to be in the dark down here, do we? So I need to get some kind of block lights to put there. And to be honest, I don't think I've got many of any of them. So let's see what we can rustle up. Well, I guess we can do it with glowstone. We've got enough of those. That'll do. So let's get these in here. And there we go. That is the sheep farm complete. We do, of course, need to put lots and lots of shears in it. But I also need to make sure I've got plenty of sheep, which currently I don't because I've completely forgot to breed any of them while we were doing that. You've got your work cut out for you. Come on. Although I've also just realized I said this was complete and it's not. I haven't actually put in the redstone at the back here to dispense everything that goes in. So if we do that, that, that and this. Perfect. As you can see, it's already spitting out the rubbish that it's picked up so far. Although we do need some soul sand in that as well. And we'll grab some ice for later. So when we fill the tube, it just makes it a bit easier for us. Well, I've either misplaced it or I just have no soul sand. I'm sure I had some soul sand. Oh, no. Is that it? No, that's soul soil as well. Wait a minute. Maybe the soul sand's actually already in my redstone box. I feel like that's something I would have done. I need to eat. Yep, that's exactly where it was. Knew it. So let's get that in there. Block this up. And now I think we're actually good to go. So not only do we need to breed the sheep, we also need to make sure we're giving them the appropriate colours. We want one of every colour of sheep, and that means we're going to need a whole bunch of dyes. And I don't think I've got all of them. I might do, but I'm not sure. Let's go see what we can rustle up at home. I appear to have thrown my rockets away. First port of call is going to be our flower box. Okay, not looking too bad. Let's see what we've got to hand. So it looks like I've managed to get everything apart from cyan and green. And for both of those, oh, we just need some cactus. There we go. Let's cook this up. And there we go. So we've actually managed to get all 16 dies without even leaving our basement. So at least that saved us a bunch of flying around. However, we still need more sheep. Let's breed them up again. Oh, they're not ready for it. Maybe not. So for now, I'm just going to put all these dyes in here ready for later. And what we need to do is grab ourselves a buttload of iron because we need to make lots and lots of shears and I want to completely fill up the farm for now so that hopefully we won't have to restock it anytime soon. And to be honest, maybe never again. Who knows? So I'm going to be making shears for a while, so I'll see you back here once we're done. And hopefully the sheep will be ready by that point as well. But well, that was tedious, but all of the shears are in and it has occurred to me at the start here, we're not actually going to have have a proper collection system set up once I get the sheep in. So I think I'm just going to chuck a barrel down here. And for now, we'll just collect all the wool in there. But at the moment, we still don't have enough sheep. We have 13 in here. We need three more and we need the little baby ones to grow up. So for now, I guess we just play the waiting game. Actually, no, let's make the inside of this look a little bit nicer. There we go. Doesn't need to be anything more fancy than that. We're probably never going to be back down here again anyway. But in case we do need more shears, we'll just stick a barrel down there as well. And once we get the roof on, obviously, it's going to look a bit better. And our sheep are almost ready. We just got a couple more we need to grow up and then we can start loading them in over here. In fact, we can probably do that anyway, even though they're not grown up, right? So to make my life a bit easier over here, let's just build a temporary bridge. And we'll just stick a trapdoor on top of each of these as well so we can close them up once they've got a sheep inside. And there we go. So first one, let's see what we can do. This is going to be so tedious, I can feel it already. tedious at all but we have all the sheep in and what I have actually done is removed all the redstone off the back of these blocks because I realized I need to dye them and if they don't have wool on them you can't actually dye them so let's make some space and grab our dyes well this is easy enough let's just give them all a unique color there we go all the sheep have a unique color I just need to add the redstone on the back here and that will actually start the farm up and we'll get rid of these temporary blocks we don't need them anymore not too shabby so now it is time to actually build the barn up top and of course sort out the storage because that is going to be a big part of what we do up here. We're going to have all the wool stored at the back and at the front here, we're probably going to actually have some space for some animals. We'll have some fields. It's going to be absolutely marvelous. But first, I'm going to pack all this away and go make myself a cup of tea. Tea has been acquired. Let's plan out this barn, shall we? And I 
think that's just about going to do it. As we get closer, you can, of course, see the chests rendering in. And this is where we're going to sort out the eight different types of wool on this side and the other eight on this side. We should have enough space behind to fit in the auto sorter. I guess the next step is to actually build a barn around this. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. That's not the next step at all. I need to actually put in the redstone, don't I? sorting system is now sorted we have everything in order and things will be coming through look at that we've already got the wool coming through to the different boxes we just need to decorate this place i have kind of started framing some things out and trying to work out how the rest of this building is going to look but to be honest i don't really know we're just going to grab some blocks and start winging it and hopefully it'll be looking all fancy nice nice when i bring you back so let's grab some blocks and turn that music back up What have I done to the top? That's horrible. Let's try that again. certainly looking better now the barn has turned out a lot bigger than i expected but that has given us more space in the top for farms and as you can tell i've still got a lot of detailing work to do i've started working out roughly where i might put a few bits but nah i'm not sold yet and on the inside here we've got three sections here where we can put animals four in fact and we've also got uh one here and we've got a section here i think i'm gonna put some stairs in here to get to the upper levels and as i say we do have plenty of space for more farms up there i might even put some more sheep in you know but for now we need to focus on the outside because although we've got the shape of the barn it still looks absolutely terrible so we need to do some texturing on the walls here we need to do some texturing on the roof and of course we need to get all the details in such as windows and things like that and then there's landscaping there's the paths that connected all up geez we've got loads to do but nevertheless, a couple of hours later, we're making some good progress. I think I've pretty much got the front here sorted out how I want it to look. I still need to actually do the landscape around here. I think we've probably got a big field there for the animals, shouldn't we? But I've spent a reasonable amount of time on the interior as well. I still want to swap out a lot of this floor and especially the animal pens. But I have managed to get some detail, some decoration in here. And there's also some stairs that take you up onto this sort of mid-level area. This is just the roof above the barns. And from here, you can actually get across on top of the other side as well. But most importantly, look up here. We have got a ridiculous amount of space and I don't really know what to do with it. So if you've got any ideas, do let me know in the comments. But well, we need to put some kind of farm here, right? Because if we do put some farms up there, we actually can convert some of these bits here to storage as well, at least on this side. This side is definitely going to be for animals, however. And the good news is the whole time we've been building, as you can see, we've been getting lots and lots of dark oak pressure plates but we've been getting lots and lots of wool which is marvelous and we've also got an overflow chest here for the stuff that falls in so enough waffle it's got dark there's nasty things around and i've still got a whole lot of work to do so i'll see you shortly that was a cool effect <laughs> And dare I say it, I think we're just about done. Of course, we do still need the wheat to grow up here, but I am absolutely loving this. This is actually working really well. We've still got a massive empty space at the top there. But like I said, if you know what farms we should put there, do let me know in the comments. But I've sorted out all the animal pens. We don't actually have anything in this one just yet, and we appear to be missing a fence as well, so we should probably fix that. But I went and got some horses. We even got a donkey, and we have our horse here, which has a saddle on. That's the one I've been riding while trying to get the others. We've got the signs up in here, 
as well. But all in all, inside here is looking pretty good. On the outside here, I've connected up a path around the side. I've extended the wheat field a little bit just to bring it up to the edge of this barn because I think that looks a lot better. And most importantly, we have a field out the front here for all our animals. And well, I have got a fence kind of all the way around, but I haven't necessarily made it tall enough to stop them from jumping over. But I'm a sneaky and what I have done is I've actually lined the edge of the entire field with honey blocks. So they can't actually jump, they can't escape, and at the same time it gives me a little bit more freedom with the walls. I'm quite pleased with that, big brain beardy. Doesn't happen often, but sometimes, just sometimes it does. The other thing I did was force grow a few giant oak trees. Just by placing a sapling with a few blocks stacked up next to it means that you don't get the small oak trees and you get the bigger ones. And, well, once again, I, I wasn't going to stand here and do custom trees. It's just not really my thing. But getting these giant oaks and then just adding a few blocks to the bottom really does make a difference to just using the normal oak trees. These ones here they're not so great lastly i have actually decided to keep the house down here with our villagers in just as a remnant of the village that once stood here but i i'm not doing anything with them really i'm just kind of keeping them for the sake of keeping them really and and the, there appears to be some some house missing there as well so i guess we should fix that too but i just basically planted loads of trees to hide it in fact here you go look this is how i was making the giant trees plant the sapling there with a few blocks next to it and then you're more likely to get big trees but we don't need them there now so the good news is besides adding a couple of farms and maybe an interior here and there i think we're actually done in this area i think i think our starter base island village type area is actually done as i say we do have a few spaces for small farms that we can put in as and when we need them but i'm absolutely in love with this area we've been here for a good few months basically since the very first episode in fact this building here is our starter house and to see how this place has developed has just been absolutely amazing but the good news is we can now make a start on a new area and by now i mean probably in a couple of episodes because there are a couple of things i want to do that don't really warrant having a whole area to themselves but we'll get to that in the next episode. We'll discuss what our next themed area is going to be, because it's not all going to be medieval. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to mix things up a bit. I do have a plan. In fact, there is actually one last thing I still need to do with the barn. Come on, Pinky. It's about time you got a home. Here we go, Pinky. We've got the perfect place for you just in here. And with that, I think we've pretty much gone full circle. We found you in episode one, and just as we finish this area, we finally build you a home. Sorry for the delay, Pinky. What are you doing? You don't need a bar. Oh, jeez. I think Pinky got used to being in the ocean. See you on the next one.